How's it going everybody? Gamer Wayne. Welcome back to another video. In this video we're going to be building a Nintendo M82 kiosk. And I'm kind of nervous about this project. It's uh, pretty beastly. Um, there's a lot of angles in this stuff. Stuff I've never really done with woodworking before. And you know lumber isn't cheap so if I make a mistake it's going to be a very costly mistake. And I got two 4x8 sheets of plywood to start with. Um, hopefully that's enough for at least most of the kiosk build. But we'll find out. Uh, I got a piece of grass, pa grass paper. I got a piece of graph paper. And I've actually spent the last three hours on this. It's hard to see. I drew up the design of how I wanted it to look. That's from the front. And each one of the small blocks represents three inches, and the bigger blocks are a foot. There's a see-through side image of it, and then you have a solid side of it. Now I got the idea off of eBay. There's actually a M82 kiosk on eBay, but they're asking $35,000. Um, I'm not going to spend that, so uh, I just decided to try to build my own. Let's go. First cut I'm gonna make is six foot six inches, six and a half feet. That's how tall the kiosk is gonna be. Now I'm just making the side pieces. Um, it leans back a little bit, so uh, the very bottom of it comes straight up about six inches. I'm gonna make that 26 inches wide and do that on this side, and then it'll bend back this way, and then I'll do the bottom on that side so they can fit past each other, and I can stick with just using one board for both sides. I got my lines done. This is gonna be the bottom of one side, and that's the edge of the line right there. And this is the top of the other. And I'm gonna cut right down the center of that so I can split this wood up and then make my sides. Now what I'm gonna do is flip this piece onto this piece and uh, make the exact same shape uh, drawing onto it to make sure I get it exactly even. And now I got my sides cut out. Now I'm gonna use a second four by eight sheet of plywood and I'm gonna cut out 25 and a half inch strips. And that'll be how wide the inside is. And then with the two outer sides, it'll be a total of 27 inches wide. Here's my 25 and a half inch wide piece. And I'll be able to cut this up into strips for shelving on the kiosk. The next is gonna be the front kickboard, uh, six inches tall, the floor and the backboard. And like I said, they're all uh, gonna be 25 and a half inches wide, making the whole thing 27 inches long.
Here's the kickboard. This next piece will be for the floor. It's gonna be 24 and a half inches long. And that'll allow room for the kick plate in front of it and the backboard behind it, uh, hiding the floorboard. Now I'm just gonna put pocket holes in the floorboard, the kickboard, and the backboard. Now we're gonna find out if all my measurements were right and hopefully everything fits like a glove. The first part we're gonna screw on here is the backboard. All right, it's day two, and the next thing we got going on, we're gonna mount the M82 shelf where the M82 is gonna sit um, at 35 inches. At 36 inches, that's where the top of the shelf is gonna be and the bottom of the M82 unit. And at 46 inches is where the base of the TV is gonna sit. Um, I'm going to make the shelf come out to the edge originally, put the TV on it, see where the TV sits on it, and I'm going to cut the excess off because there's going to be an angled piece um, that goes from the TV down to the top of the M82 unit, and i got to figure all that out. So we're also going to try to round the corners tonight at the top and put the top shelf in. and. Cut the hole in the back for the fans for the M82. Um, hopefully I can get that all that done tonight. Like I said, it's night two, and uh, I'm doing this project after my working hours, so I can only get so much done in a day.